get what you missed on. Pearl Play with Yvonne Mutui. Thank you for tuning in to Pal Play with Yvonne on Pal Radio 96.9. We are your home of fashion classic hits. Tell me what you think about prayer. Now, we're chit-chatting about uh, prayer. Yeah, I know there's so many questions about, you know, how to pray, how do I do it right and all that. But, 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 I'm going to give you four uh, easy steps that I follow uh, that I, I'm hoping that it's going to make uh, your prayer life possible. Okay, four very easy steps. Now. First of all, prayerlessness is dangerous in this sense. It creates an environment where there's so much fear and so much anxiety and so much sin. Watch yourself. Just look back at the moment where you felt you had fallen, quote unquote, and you felt like God was so far away. How was your life like at that time? Because chances are it was the most prayerless time of your life because that's what prayerlessness prayerlessness does bring so much anxiety especially when there's trouble and fear and you know what else and sin right because the spirit of the lord does not bring fear he doesn't bring fear so when there is no prayer in your life it's this bound to be so much fear in it and so much anxiety as well but here four steps uh, four steps that I'm hoping that are going to help you. Number one, have an intentional meeting time and meeting point with him. He's your friend, right? And I know you have a couple of friends that maybe you meet every weekend or maybe once a month and all that. The same thing with God. Have an intentional meeting time and meeting point with him. Is this that place? In, have you watched War Room? Is it that place in your room or in your house that you like to pray at? Make that your prayer your meeting point with God, right? Make that so you know when I wake up in the morning, that's the first place I'm going. I'm going to meet with God at this particular point and uh, at this particular time. So it's very important to have an intentional meeting time and meeting point with God. Because sometimes you wake up in the morning and you just don't want to pray, but then you remember, nope, my feet's got to go over there and I got to take my knees to that floor and I need to talk to God before I do anything else. So have a meeting point with God, okay? And a meeting time. For me, it's 4 a.m. in the morning. I always wake up 4 a.m. in the morning, listen to some good worship music and talk to God every single day. When I miss that, actually, I, feel, I usually feel like my day is going so badly even when it's not. Because it's like there's something missing. There's a place I did not go this morning. So have a meeting point and meeting place with God. Number two, read the word and quote scriptures. There is nothing as encouraging uh, uh, to the heart and to the soul as going to God and telling him, you know what you said? It is you who said this. You've said it right here. It's written in your word that you shall supply all my need according to your riches and glory. It's written that right here. That you shall never uh, leave nor forsake me. That I shall be the head and not the tail. It's written right here. Right? It makes your prayer life um, easier because it's easier to believe when you can go to God and tell him, no, I'm not, say- I'm not the one saying this. By the way, you say it so. Number three, you don't got to shout. You don't got to pray like your mama did. Like I'm a pastor's kid and you know, my father and my mother really, really are prayer warriors. But you don't got to shout. You don't got to uh, pray loudly or use so many words. You're talking to your friend, right? So go to him as a friend. Tell him, you know what, God, first of all, good morning. I like to say that. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Thank you for waking me up this morning. I'm feeling kind of low today. I don't really feel like going to work and I just I just want to sleep in but I hope that you're going to give me strength and you know and might and creativity and all that. Talk to him as your friend. Be honest about where you are. Be honest about how you feel. Even if you feel that he's not there, just tell him. Tell him, I just don't know if you're here with me. You know, I've messed up so badly. I feel like, oh my goodness, this has been such a terrible, um, I've made such terrible mistakes. Tell him. Be honest with him. He's your friend. And last but not least, it's not about the feeling. You don't have to feel like he's there to know that he is there. It's about what you know. You know that he is there. You know that every time you call him, he's going to answer. So even when you feel like God is not there with you, I want you to know in your heart that he is there with you. Play. Just reminding you to keep holding on because maybe you just haven't seen it yet. It's going to happen for you. Whatever that you have been praying for, for three weeks, one month, five years, it's, it's going to come, right? Maybe you just haven't seen it yet. Hello. Thank you for tuning in to Pal Radio 96.9. We are your home of fresh and classic hits. You're hanging out with me. My name is Yvonne Mutui here for Pal Play with Yvonne, your mid-morning companion and your music companion as well. And we've been chit-chatting a little about prayer. And I hope that... 
you and I both are going to build a culture of prayer because we need it now more than ever. We need to be so prayerful and, uh, you know, to pray for our parents, to pray for our friends, to pray for our relatives because of the things that are happening. We need to cover each other in prayer. And it's the, it's the best thing you can ever do for someone is to pray for them. I remember there's a time when uh, my dad came home and he said that, you know, his car stopped in the middle of the road and started spinning and he almost got into a very, very bad road accident. And I remember my mom saying, you know what? I woke up in the morning and I prayed about that. I saw that and I prayed for you, <laughs> you know, and I'm nothing. But that's the most beautiful thing anyone can ever do for another person is to pray for them, is to cover for them, is to cover them in prayer and to cover yourself as well. OK, it's this is dangerous times. It's a terrible season uh, that we are living in today. And if you do not, you know, at least just give yourself the gift of prayer and allow yourself to talk to your friend and talk to God, then I, I don't I don't know what kind of life you're going to be living. This is a confidence that we have in approaching God that if we ask anything, anything according to his will, he will hear us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have what we have asked of him. I'm reading from 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. It says, this is a confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have that which we have asked of him. Do you know that he hears you when you pray? Do you know that he is constantly always there just waiting to hear that word from you? You know, please, as build that culture of prayer and be intentional with it. The same way you're intentional with talking to your loved ones every day, be intentional with talking to God. Let's pray. Thank you Jesus for this beautiful day that you've given us oh God, for the reminder that we, when we come to you, we have confidence that you hear us oh God. You are not deaf. You hear us every time that we call upon your name. So I pray for everyone that is tuned in oh God. Those of us who are struggling with our prayer lives oh God. Those of us who have not even prayed in days or weeks or years or just today. I pray that you will remind us every single day of our lives that we are alive and we are moving on this earth it's only by your grace and it's only by your protection oh god remind us to cover each other in prayer remind us to talk to you every single morning oh god and every single day let us just be exactly where you are because that is the safest place in the whole wide world we'll bless you and we glorify you in jesus name we pray amen and amen and amen and amen when you pray God answers. So whatever you stop doing, don't stop praying. Yvonne Mundui on Pearl Play. Weekdays from 10 a.m. Pearl Play. Your all-day music companion.